let's talk about how to write research papers. The purpose of a research paper is to present new knowledge. Imagine this oval showing human knowledge, everything that has been discovered or invented. A research paper needs to break this boundary and present something nobody knows. That's the mission of a researcher. Why do we want to write research papers? If you have a discover something that is worth sharing, we call research findings. You need to write research papers if that is part of a job. You are a researcher in a company's research laboratory. You are a doctor student. You are a professor. Writing research papers can also help you become special and famous. Most people do not write research papers. Some people ask me whether they need to pay attention to writing research papers if they do not want to get a PhD and they are not interested in academic positions. The answer is the following. If you invent new technologies or you discover something important, you often need to publish your work in research papers or in patents, and in some cases, you need to do both. The purpose of a publication is to help people understand what you have discovered or invented. It is also important to protect your invention or discovery. If you have a research papers or patents, people know you are the person that create the knowledge. If you do not write research papers or patents, somebody else may discover or invent similar things, then your invention or discovery will not be recognized. I recommend these three books if you want to write research papers or patents. The first book is called Academic Writing for Graduate Students. This book focuses more on the structures of research papers. The second book is called the Style, 10 Lessons in Clarity and Grace. This book explains how to make your writing easier to understand. The third book is Video Display of Quantitative Information. This book explains how to make figures. The most important component of a research paper is you have something new to tell the most common type of research papers will be new solutions to existing problems. Maybe you find a new way to transmit signals over wireless channels. Maybe you find a new solutions to recognize objects in images. Maybe you find a way to detect pedestrians walking on streets. It is also, part, it is also common to see research papers talking about new problems. People may not understand these problems. In the last several years, we have seen many research papers talking about different properties of the COVID-19 viruses. These are new problems. People did not know these type of viruses before. Research papers may also provide new understanding of a problems. COVID-19 is another example. Maybe a research paper explains different ways COVID-19 viruses can be transmitted. Many research papers look at existing problems and existing solutions, then give new interpretation of the information. The most important word in a research paper is new. It has to be new to the research community. Sometimes students say, this is new to me, so I'm going to write a research paper. If that is not new to the research community, there is no research paper. I have explained several examples of research papers, new way to transmit wireless signals, new method to protect data from unauthorized access, new evidence to explain dinosaur extinction, new disease or new ways to transmit disease, new materials for buildings or airplanes, new safety features for vehicles, new relationship between interest rates and economy. Again, the key concept here is new. When should you start writing a paper? You can talk to different people and they have different views. Some people will tell you you should write as soon as possible because a research paper can be a way to document your work. Some people will tell you you should write your research paper after you have finished all your work. Then you can start writing a research paper because you have all the material. My own experience is you should write a research paper as soon as possible 
because writing helps you organize your thinking. When you write a research paper, you have to decide how you are going to design and conduct experiments because that information needs to be explained in your paper. You also need to explain the hypothesis that needs to be validated or overthrown. If, if you start writing a research paper early, you can often avoid unnecessary work. I call them deleted scenes like movies. If you watch movie DVDs, often they are bonus features showing the scenes that have been captured but never shown in the movie. We call these deleted scenes. Deleted scenes means wasted effort. When you write research papers, it is very common to have wasted effort because you do not know the result in advance. You, you have done some work and later on you find that work is irrelevant. If you have a plan, you can reduce the wasted effort. I encourage you to think about your research paper by writing down one sentence summary. This sentence guides the creation of the entire paper. Please understand this is an iterative process, meaning that you may write this one sentence summary, you do some work, you do some investigation, and you are surprised by your research, then you need to go back and rewrite your one-sentence summary. It is important to have a one-sentence summary first so that you have an overview about your research. Let me give you three examples here. We demonstrate that masks can effectively reduce the transmission of a coronavirus. We create a vaccine for coronavirus that is 94% effective in phase three trials. We propose a method to train machine learning 26% faster than the best existing method. Please pay attention to the verbs. The verb you choose explains your main contribution. Here are a few more examples of one sentence summary. We discover a security vulnerability among 62% of deployed computers. Please notice the word discover. This sentence suggests that the authors did not find a way to fix it. They only discovered the problem. They did not solve the problem. The second example is we build the world's first solar powered airplane that can fly over a thousand kilometers. Notice the word build. It is more than just a design, they actually build it. The third example is we design and implement a system that can search web pages on the internet. The third sentence shows that they have a design and they have implemented. The fourth example is we collect the data from 5 million people to analyze the relationship between wealth and longevity. The last example shows what they have done is they collect the data and they have not analyzed the data yet. It is important to choose the right verb. You also need to understand different words have different strengths. You can go from proof, then go to demonstrate, observe, and hypothesize. Proof is a pretty strong word. Hypothesize is a weaker word. How to write the one sentence summary? As I have explained earlier, you need to choose the verb carefully. Do you want to use the word demonstrate? or discover, design, build, or create. Then you need to explain the problem you are solving. In these examples, the problems are transmission of disease, cure of a disease, solar power the plant. They, are, they design solar power the plant, or the search on the internet. This one sentence summary also need to give some ideas about what has been accomplished. You need to set the metrics for success. In the first example, it's 26% faster. In this case, it's comparing about speed. In the second example, is the distance, 1,000 kilometers. In the next example, is 62% deployed computers. That shows the scale of the problem. And the last example is 5 million people. Shows they have collected a lot of data. Writing is a process of iterative improvement. It is extremely unlikely you can write once and you're done. It's almost always you need to write and revise many, many times. That is my own experience. I have never written a paper from the beginning to the end and done and finish it. We always revise because as we write, we go back and see how things can flow better.